Well, there's plenty of negatives going around at the moment. We don't need any more. I'll tell you what was uh, good. Banksy's done a new, uh, he's done a new Banksy. That's, that's, a Banksy's called a Banksy, isn't it? But he's done a new Banksy on the uh, inside of a tube train. You might have seen it on a London tube train. And everyone's getting in the, uh, everyone's getting the knickers in the twist online about, oh, look at that. That's vandalism. If anybody else, did, some of the comments were like, if anybody else did that, they'd be throwing the book at them. If I was to go and draw all over the uh, train carriage, I would be arrested. Yeah, that's because you're not a famous fucking artist who's worth millions and millions of pounds. And it's, you know, everybody welcomes uh, what they've got to say or what their uh, point of view is on something. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit what you think or what... I'm only... I, I give a shit what you think because it's funny for my podcast. Apart from that, nobody cares about your uh, your uh, miserable little opinion. <laughs> um, you just... like Somebody else said to me afterwards, like, oh, fucking get... Why don't you just... Oh, I can't remember what they said. They said something back, back that was just proper cutting... You know, uh, proper dissed him, basically. I mean, at the end of the day, he's just put... Everything he puts graffiti on becomes fucking worth a fortune. I bet the tube... I, I wouldn't be surprised if the tube company knew damn well that he was on his way. They knew that he was coming, and they would know that it, as soon as he sprayed all over that, they'd be like, right, take that carriage out of the uh, circulation. We're going to put that one up for auction. Let's put the, one of the shitter ones back. So you're going to have like a really nice train with a really shit old carriage in the middle that uh, they've had to cobble it together with. Because somebody's... Or over that, or they'll leave it on. They ain't going to leave it on there. They probably washed it off already. But um, otherwise, if you do get to go on that tube train... Cut a bit, try and fucking scratch a bit off or uh, rub it because he's got a, he's drawn a load of little rats in different places all around the tube train. So get your uh, your coat and rub your coat into the rat. Just fucking wet the wet your coat at the back. Rub your coat into the rat, and when you put it off, hopefully you'll have an imprint of the rat on your coat, and that's going to be worth about a fucking hundred grand, <laughs> just like that. And do that any time you see uh, a Banksy, probably. But uh, there you go. But anyway, it's a bit of fun, and it's made the news, and it's all about coronavirus. I couldn't work out what the thing said, but I think it's along the lines of uh, encouraging people to sort of follow the rules, and uh, you know, don't get to, don't as it don't get down. I'll get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down, like the uh, Tomba. What was it called? Tomba Thump. What was that group called who sung that? Thump. Oh, it's like an Engelbert Umperding word. Tub thump. Tub thumper. <laughs> Tumble thump. Something like that. Check it out. Google it. Let me know. You won't let me know because nobody fucking lets me know anything on this podcast. But you can on YouTube, on the uh, comments, if you watch it on the video. But uh, Tub thumper. Thump. Tumble thump. Something like that. Anyway, I, I can't... I could, I could waste 20 minutes coming up with different variations of that word. But you get what I'm trying to say.